Hello, this is Crypto Neptune, and I'm on to talk about how Pulse Chain has been on a tear. And we're also going to sprinkle in a little Pulse Drip as well, as that token has been performing well. Remember, nothing I say is financial advice, and you should always do your own research. So we're looking at Pulse Chain or WPLS. And what I did was looking for buys today over $1,000, between $1,000 and like $500,000, right? You know, and as you can see, some strong buys are coming in for WPLS. You know, there's 9000 here. Somebody bought $33,000 worth of WPLS or Pulse Chain, right? There's a nice $3,195 buy here for, looks like that's $46 million WPLS, right? Somebody bought 17000 $18.61 worth of WPLS. So that's 249K worth of WPLS. So this is a great indicator that people are really taking post chain seriously and they understand the bullishness behind this project, right? This blockchain, because post chain is the gas token that's going to be the layer that kind of helps all these different dApps run. And as you can see here, somebody today bought $126,948 worth of WPLS. Now, if that's not bullish, I don't know what to tell you. So roughly 1 billion, 1.8 billion WPLS somebody bought today, right? And you're probably wondering, well, why am I bullish, also bullish on Pulse Chain? Again, it's a new blockchain where more and more developers are coming on here because they understand the opportunity and the potential gold rush of gains. And if we go over to coinlist.com, as you can see over the last seven days, Pulse Chain is up 57.26%. So it has had a nice run up, you know, as Bitcoin goes, kind of the whole market goes, but it also shows that, again, a lot of people are interested in what's going on with Pulse Chain as a whole, right? And then here's some buys here. And, and you know, there's some sell-offs. You know, somebody sold here. They probably just swing traded it. Looks like somebody probably sold 40K worth of Pulse Chain. But this blockchain has a lot of potential because of how early it is i think it's only been like four or five months but also how cheap it is to transact over here and the potential gold rush of a lot of these different projects on here to be pegging for example you know PDI is one of those projects that are supposed to be pegged to a dollar and you know wrapped bitcoin is like another one that's potentially could get pegged to you know that 34 35 K price point, but you get the point. There's a lot going on on this blockchain, and as you can see here, market cap is sitting at 526.3 million. So, a lot of room to grow, and more and more people have been piling into Pulse Chain. And I also have an opportunity too, like if you there's also a play to earn game on this blockchain. This particular game was developed by the Pulse Trip team, which of course they are on Pulse Chain, and it's Aqua Blaze. So here would be an opportunity for somebody that wants to win some PLS. So it's pretty much with this particular game, Aqua Blaze is PLS in and PLS out. The starting ticket price for each entry. Is 25k PLS, right? So the sword and suite of it is you pretty much you buy tickets for whichever fighter. A lot of people what they do is they buy tickets for both fighters. So you can, I believe, buy up to 20 tickets per transaction. So you could buy 20 tickets for for Blaze, and then you could buy in a separate transaction, maybe buy 20 for Aqua. So they kind of put a cap on it, making it that you would have to come back 
and transact if you want more tickets, if that makes sense. But the way this game works is if you buy tickets for Aqua, you get 50% of the fight purse, right? So the whole goal is to have more people piling into this fight and the fight purse kind of building up to be massive, right? And then here, Blaze gets 50% dividends from every ticket sale, right? So it's pretty awesome stuff. Like I've been in like two of these and the last one I had roughly 500,000 PLS that I put into Aqua Blaze and I ended up earning an additional 500,000 PLS. So I walked away with 1 million PLS. So if done correctly, this game is a printer. So this next fight is scheduled for tonight at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. So I'm going to be entering that with 1 million PLS. So if you're looking for an opportunity to earn some PLS through this game, this is a printer, right? I will leave my referral link in the YouTube description. That's my referral link, and I will leave that in the YouTube description. But pretty much how it works is people that come in after you, you start earning more and more PLS, right? Because you're getting a percentage of each one of those transactions, right? This is the dividend one, right? Now, with Aqua, you only get your payout after the fight because it's a percentage of the fight purse and we won't know the whole total of the fight purse once the fight ends right and then with blaze you get those rewards instant instantly right so you can like instantly claim out those rewards automatically whereas here it's kind of grayed out because you have to wait to the end of the fight to get the aqua tickets right and the icing on the cake is essentially the person who gets the last ticket who or is the last ticket holder and can withstand you know the can withstand the outcome of the fight essentially they would get a huge chunk of the fight purse so the goal is not only to accumulate pls through buying tickets for both aqua and blaze but if you're the last one to buy the last ticket as the fight ticker runs down then you would win and um one other thing too you know here's like the leaderboard right here's the referral board board if you refer people you get kind of rewards there uh, and as you can see you know this is some of the information from some details from the last fight where people want some some nice rewards but again this fight happens tonight we all know that post chain is going to be a big deal from now until the bull run right it's going, to, it's going to be you know who knows how far this is going to go up in price because they're also per transaction they're burning post chain as well so that means that that total supply is coming back down so I will leave that referral link in the YouTube description. Oh, one other thing about the fight, it does not like last like it can last multiple days, right? This fight can be going on for like multiple days because again, it just depends on if people are buying tickets and and extending the fight, right? The last fight we had lasted for like 4 or 5 days, right? Cuz people kept buying and buying tickets. Right? So that's the concept. So you honestly, with this game, you don't want it to be like a quick, you know, 18 hour fight and it's over. You want this fight to go on for a couple of days because you're accumulating PLS at a high clip. And that's why I like this game and I'll continue to like to play this game because I earn PLS. I want to build my PLS bags or I can use some of that money and I could diversify back into post trip so pretty much with post trip it's pretty much has been on a tear right you know over the last week it's up pretty significantly and we're sitting at a 19.87 cent price 
And as you know, as PLS runs up, so will pole strip because it's paired with PLS, right? Also, what makes this project even more bullish and has the potential to actually go on a complete tear is the total supply is only 5 million. So I'm going to do a separate video on crypto projects that have around the same supply. And when you see some of how these other coins are sitting, you'll realize that there's a lot of room for post trip to pump. The number of faucets have increased to 1,049. We completely just ran right through 1,000. And this is essentially a passive income NFT in which you earn 1% per day, right? And roughly around the current price, you know, if you times that by 336,500, which is the max that you can generate in post strip tokens in one faucet, that could be north of 500K, if that makes sense, right? And developers have made this post strip, like we mentioned before, to be sustainable because there are buybacks within this garden. Each time you deposit, any one of these different crypto assets into the garden, there is a deposit fee of which it is 10%, 7% is used to buy back PDRIP. And then if you claim 3% of that is used to buy back PDRIP. So imagine like this garden during a bull run when people are trying to claim out rewards. Well, it's also going to jack this price up you know tremendously right so and they continue the team continues to want to build on pdrip and again like i mentioned post trip developed aqua blaze what this is the plsn and pls out game right when the fight is over like i believe 15 percent of the proceeds are used to buy back pdrip to make it sustainable right so keep an eye on this. I'll leave my referral link and information in the YouTube description as well for post trip and then instructions in the YouTube description as well as showing you, walking you through how to buy P drip. So let's go back over here real quick to see what we're seeing. And you know, that's the most recent buys there let's kind of scroll up to see if we're seeing anything else yeah we got some sales there somebody bought three thousand worth of pls so you know some sales some strong buys and strong sales there's like a lot of activity so if you see here 7.6 million in buy volume 7.6 million in sale volume right so you want to see a healthy healthy buying healthy selling people constantly transacting on the protocol which again, it's gonna drag. It's gonna jack that price up because more and more people are transacting transacting on post chain. So, what do we talk about? We talked about how we feel post chain is gonna be a big deal, you know. And this is kind of going on also with, you know, Richard Hart. We know he's kind of under some scrutiny right now, and he's kind of going through the SEC case, but. You know, I, I can't predict the future, but I have a good feeling that he'll be able to, you know, either settle or the SAC will probably just give up and let it go away like they have. Or they'll end up losing the case or the situation because they have no grounds to go after crypto projects. Because quite honestly, I, I, I want to say it's is, is looked at more of a commodity than something that should be under the Security and Exchange Commission. So I this leads me to believe with all this buy and sell volume that people understand what's going on with post chain and they're feeling pretty optimistic about it. Okay, and once again I'll leave my referral link in the YouTube description for Aquablaze. So if you want to use that and participate in this fight. I will definitely leave that in the description, right? And again, like I said, to start off with the ticket price starts off at 25,000 PLS. And for each 
ticket sale, you know, the price kind of increases 0.5%. So the price of these tickets will go up as far as more and more tickets are being bought. So that's kind of how it works, and that's what kind of helps jack up the fight purse, if that makes sense. All right, so thanks, everybody, for listening, and thanks for stopping by.